Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Court Farm. Look at it. Snowing. <laughs> it is pretty dreadful weather and dreadful time of year really to get contract work done or anything else really. We're pretty much stuck, but I've got a plan. I've got a plan. We're definitely going to try and make some money and I think it is a little bit sneaky, but at the same time, it's one of them. Like, Why not? If we can make some cash, we may as well do it. Hoping that won't actually cultivate. Do you know what? We can actually clean the snow, can't we, by doing this? So, I mean, originally I was thinking, should I, in this episode, should I just go around hopping fences again and trying to pick up, uh, yeah, trying to pick up some um, the collectibles? But then I thought, nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. But now what I'm going to quickly do is just try and tidy up a bit of this snow. Can I get through there? Be a tight squeeze. Nope, we're not going to be able to do that. But yeah, we're going to definitely make a bit of cash, and we've also got the bales to sell. So at least we can, hopefully, by the end of this episode, our money should jump up. Thinking about it, quite a bit. We've obviously got the silage bales that have been sitting out. They are now ready, fermented, and ready to sell. So we're going to go up and do that. But I'm also going to try and complete a contract. But it's a transport contract. We'll leave that there. So let's get up to our bales and get them sold first because after that point then we can yeah, crack on with doing this contract. Now I'll talk to you about the contract as we drive up. So basically it is a transport contract and it is for grass silage. Now we haven't got quite enough grass silage bales I don't think. We might be a little bit shy or we've just got enough to make it but I actually will make more money by selling just the bales that we've obviously done direct. So we're gonna do that. But we're gonna buy in some grass silage bales and basically be like the middleman. We're gonna load them up, and we're gonna go take them where they need to go, and then we're gonna sell them and hopefully make a pretty decent profit. I've actually worked out, and this is thanks to Maze Plus really, because the, the price of grass silage is a lot cheaper to buy than it is, say, what the original grass silage was, which, because of Maze Plus, is now whole crop silage. So yeah, we're gonna make, hopefully, a pretty decent amount from this I mean what else can we do as well when the fields like this there's snow everywhere so let's go and take these bales first be mint if I could hey <laughs> doing some drifting in here at the moment yeah, let's get hooked up to this and we'll go take the bales we'll figure out the best place and then yeah we're gonna have to buy these bales from the shop I think that's all we can do. I was thinking about it. if I make enough money, we could try and buy this field. So by the start of the next episode, I can then obviously take out the hedges and we can prep better. Well, they're not hedges, sorry, the, the, the fences. We can take them out and then we can prep this field as well better. Now, I have to confirm, I'm a little bit disappointed in this and I did see everyone's comments and you were all right that uh, the nitrogen levels of this field haven't changed at all. So rolling them haven't given me anything. Now I did expect the nitrogen not to move up. I was a little bit cautious of that because I've seen the comments before, but I'm hoping it gives us some kind of jump start growth stage wise. Now I'd have to check because I only know grass rolling from the base game and what it did there, not from within precision farming. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, this is gonna be even more difficult than it was to get in to get out now because it's loaded. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. We're gonna have to go another way out. Yeah, can't go that way. I mean, it's a shame I can't just get that bale on somehow. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and use a bit of super strength and just see if I can pick this bale up and twist it. And try and plonk it in, probably just in between that gap there and hope that it stays. I haven't had good I haven't had much luck recently with bales pulling out. In the farm and a perfect timing where I said, Yeah, <laughs> I hope these bales stay on and as soon as I said that one bale actually went flying off and obviously as you can imagine whoa what the hell was that that was uh that was strange yeah we won't do that then we'll leave that there <laughs> I didn't like that at all did it that was tragic but yeah the bale went flying at the exact moment I was basically saying it shouldn't do so not fun bloody snow go on there we go so yeah, there's a much better out way out there. So we'll go this way. And then we can have a quick look, can't we, as well. Best place to sell. 
Should I should get a decent amount of cash for this as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to this because I'm hoping it means I can maybe buy a piece of kit if it's on offer or something. We'll have to have a look what's there. And also, yeah, we'll have a look to see if we can afford to buy that field. I'm hoping I can just squeeze out of here, but it's going to be tight. Come on. Oh, I'm in hell fire. It is not easy. Not easy hauling this. Doesn't help that that's sticking out, but I mean, we can only turn it on and then put it into transport mode. It's not like we can do anything else, so we're just gonna have to make do with it like that. It's a shame that wasn't that, yeah, it's a shame that doesn't fold in at all. But I am in transport position, so yeah, it doesn't look like there is a way of uh, having that come in a bit, but no, it, oh well, be all right. Let's have a look then, just quickly, to see our sell prices and see what we can do with these grass silage bales because I'm hoping we're at least over that, was it 306 if I remember? Well, we're definitely over that because I'm, I'm sure it said 306 is the best. So yeah, anything above that, we're happy. We're at the start of January, so prices will start coming down, but we have got here, we've got a 311 at Pine Creek and a 313 at the farmer's market. So let's just have a look at Pine Creek because I know where the farmer's market is. That's on its way down. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference there, does it? So Pine Creek Bales is right up there. And farmer's market's over there. So we may as well go to Pine Creek. I think it makes more sense. Let's get this done. Let's go bring in that cash. At least we haven't got a faff about with the biogas plant, which is, yeah, it's just a bit of a nightmare, really. I wouldn't mind it if I had a constant, you know, steady flow of uh, grass silage bales coming in and we can just keep taking them up gradually. But when you have so much like this, you just want to kind of sell them and get your money in and then see what you're working with from there. I have to say though, look at this map in the snow. What a job Ox has done with them hedges. It makes such a difference seeing the hedges have a bit of snow on when the snow's falling as well. That's the one thing I will say is really important impressive because if you go on calms and have the same snow dropping down it looks really good but you don't realize that all the hedges they just look a little bit i think they just look at, like look a bit frosted but not like that kind of makes me look forward to christmas even more <laughs> let's hope we have a white christmas i can't even remember the last time we had a white christmas right so nice steady drive down here not too far Perfect. These gates are. I kind of wish they were opened inwards to the to the biogas plant area. I think it'd be better. Right, so here we go. This video is probably going to be one of the shortest ones I've done for a while, just because of the fact there isn't much to do. Winter time, you know, we're just making money at this point, so we can unload the bales. So now I'm hoping these will just start dropping off and selling. There we go. So we have picked up 28,000. We've taken no negative score, which is obviously good. Um, and we've, yeah, 28,000, well, about, about 30,000 there. So that's not too bad. For the amount of bales we had, I'm pretty happy with. So we just need this to go back. See, now that is how it should travel. But the problem is, when you've got too many bales on here, it doesn't work like that, does it? So, yeah, not good. It'd be much better if it was like that, though. Right, so, let's get ourselves into the store. Because we're going to need to buy these grass silage bales. We're going to be sneaking. We're going to try and make some more money. And I think I'm actually going to make a profit on this of about 30,000. So, about the same amount we've just done for bales which is crazy. Probably gonna park it there. I think I'll be out of the way enough. There we go. So let's have a quick look at this and try and figure out what we can do here because I know I can buy grass silage bales for a lot less and it's just a no brainer. So grass silage is 51,000 to complete this and we need 117,000 liters. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna definitely do this. We've got 
Seven hours, so plenty of time, and it's going to the farmer's market. So not too far of a drive from here. So if we make sure we tag the right place, farmer's market bales. I know it shouldn't, we shouldn't have an issue, but I always prefer just to make sure I know where I'm going so I don't mess this up. And then what we need to do is obviously buy ourselves some bales put, and stick them here. And we've got to keep in mind that we're taking, is it 117,000? I can't believe I've just forgotten that where I've just seen it. But I think it was, yeah, 117. So let's keep that in mind. I'll make a note of that so we don't go and buy too much. And we're obviously going to make 50 or 1,000. So I guarantee you, for the amount of bales we're going to buy now, there's no way in hell we're going to lose out any, at all with this. We're definitely going to make about, yeah, about £30,000 profit, surely. So let's go into bales and we'll find the maize plus grass silage now because that's what we're having to work with. And it's this one. So grass silage, £560 a bale. And I think they are, yeah, 3,500 litres. So if we, let's go with green just for the hell of it. Why not? So that's 28,000 litres straight away. So we need to probably buy four to five, don't we? Yeah, I'd say at least four, but we're going on to a fifth. So let's buy three. I'm just trying to think how many I can pick up. Let's buy three loads, which is obviously quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll start picking them up. I mean, this is sneaky. This just kind of feels like it shouldn't be allowed. Um, a bit like... Um, when people buy fields, field flip it. I think it's like when you flip the fields, you buy it when it's got a harvestable crop in, sell it, and then wait for it to obviously the farmer to do the work and you buy it. <laughs> I mean, it, you shouldn't do it, but it's winter time. What else am I going to do? So yeah, let's load these up. There we go. Take a little bit of a time to do this. I actually like that green wrap as well. Never actually used it before. I went with orange recently just because, you know, the channel logo and all that, but I actually like the look of the green. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have to keep a track as well of what we've done here. So I think we bought three, didn't we? So we got three three loads of eight. So that's 24 bales so far. Um, and we've done, what, three and a half thousand times by 24 84,000 already. So that's 84,000 litres. And we are obviously only need 117. So this <laughs> is definitely about four or five. So what, a, what an easy way to make money. I mean, it wouldn't work with everything though. I don't think if we use the base game prices, it'd work. Because I did see a strawberry one. And I had a look at the prices for like... if. It, if for me to buy strawberries and I have got a mod that allows you to buy like production pallets it might be for just ingredients into another recipe say if you're making cakes or something and you need to buy strawberries because you're not making them you should be allowed to do that just to source but you don't actually get much profit I worked out that I must spend about 30,000 to make 33 and it just wasn't worth it and I think one of them actually meant that I was losing money so obviously at that point it's kind of a yeah no brainer not to do there's no point in it I think we're gonna. This might be the perfect amount, you know. I don't know if I can fit any more. I might have to move around. Yeah. So let's sort that out. Might be a good idea to put all wheel turn in. There we go. What, I'm glad that thing hasn't got a collision on it, that forklift. There we go. So I think we can, yeah, fit these last three. So that's the perfect amount. That wasn't even planned out. So yeah, this is uh, a full load going. And that's 100, so 24 bales. So I don't actually want to unload these now. So how do I go back? I don't want to unload. I want this to lift up. Surely this will allow me to do this. Because you picked them up in the field. 
and you've got a full load, surely that there's a way of... Surely. What's going on? You're telling me this thing does not allow you to change back to operational mode? How am I going to drive with that thing down? See, this is the only problem I've had with this trailer. I think that's pretty stupid. I have to just say it as it is. Because you're picking them up from the field and say you want to store them back at your farm. So if you pick up a full load, you've got to keep that thing hanging down. That's just... Yeah, that's just not... That can't be right, surely. So if I... The only thing I can do is go unload bales. That's the only option it gives me. So basically what we need to do is load them all back up again. For some strange reason, that's how it works. And, uh, yeah. We then just don't put a full load on. We keep one off. Well, fair play. If that's what it wants us to do, I guess we'll, we'll have to just do that. A very strange setup, though. Very strange setup. You should be able to go into transport mode as soon as it's full. So that's a really, really weird thing. Because I'm sure this is Giants as well, made by Giants. So, yeah, that is never, never, it can't be right. And it's such a good tool to use as well. Because now I could turn it off. I could literally go into operating mode, in transport mode. Yeah, so... Anyway, I'll get it filled back up bar one, and then we'll we'll make way. Right, so there we go. I've got one bale off. For some reason, that allows me to lift that back up, which I don't know. Don't know. And, but at least we can yeah, start transporting this and taking it to where we need to go. Now, I still think it's a little bit strange. I really do. Kind of can't get my head around that. And I also understand that obviously I can't lift that anymore because of the fact that you can see the bales kind of blocking it, which makes sense. So, I, yeah, we have to just have it like this, and like when it's empty, we can have it fully up. But for it, when it's full, for it not to be able to lift up at all from the ground, it just makes you think, right, even though I really like this, how am I actually going to bring my bales back from the field? It seems like the only way I'm going to be able to do it is if I don't fill up this trailer fully like I've done now and just keep one bale off. So, uh, yeah, that's not not perfect, is it? We're going to have to see if that causes us any problems. We'll have to just see if we can find an alternative. That's, it's like this trailer, which is kind of like the semi-auto load. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Bloody hell, fire. But it's an easy 30 grand, so... I have to take one less bale every time. I'm quite content with that for 30 grand. Can't complain. Right, so the first load, here we go. So 42%, 52%. So there you go, 64% already done. That's not bad at all. And to think this is a massive payout, a massive payout, and all we're doing is, at this point, just transporting. It's crazy. I feel like I'm robbing them. But really... A lot of things like this happen, don't they, in the real world? Middleman, kind of like transporting, you know. The amount they pay truckers to just transport one from one place to another. So we just have to see it like that. And I mean, the fact that we're using this kind of like auto load trailer that picks up the bales just helps us so much. Because if not, it would it'd just be a nightmare. We'd be picking up loads of bales and it'd be a bit of a pain there. But for the money, I still would do it. For 30000 it'd be worth it. So I'm quite happy, and it's going to give us a boost, and it might mean that we can buy that other field, 
then we're going to have a nice amount of money and I'm going to look at what's ever on offer right now in the uh, used vehicle market because if we can pick up a piece of kit that we're going to use it's going to help us out for some new contracts or even our own farm I think we should definitely look into that definitely right so I worked out to be four definitely so we need another one at least so let's try and figure this out get the maths right before we buy these next bales right so I've just done some math because yes maths I can do just about <laughs> I'm not the best but I can do the job at least the basics so I've figured out that we've purchased technically so far obviously uh, the three loads which equates to about 84,000 litres we need 117,000 litres which leaves us 33,000 litres shy so I divided that by three and a half thousand which is the bale size and it says it's about nine and a half so I think with this one now we need to purchase nine and a half I know that's a weird one nine and a half but we can sell it can't we and just get a bit of cash have I gone past the grass silage I think I might have Yes, we have. So, yeah, let's get, obviously, eight. We'll go, why don't we try the yellow, just to see what that looks like. So, we need the eight, but then we also need two more. And that, now, should, that's an awkward place for that to spawn in. But, yeah, that should now be our total and a little bit extra. Come on. Oh, my hell, fire. That did not want to turn at all. So, yeah, let's start picking these up, and then that's the contract complete. As easy as that. I mean, these are pretty decent contracts, really, these supply ones. They're not bad at all. I mean, we're never going to get the chance to do greats. We, we just make hardly anything. Alfalfa we could probably do, and we could definitely do that May Sarge one, but I think that's just too much into earning 100 grand. <laughs> We'd probably make about 50,000 profit, maybe even more. So I don't think we can go that far into this. I think it might be a good idea, though, to set a rule where every winter time we can do one of these transport jobs if it's available. That means we can buy something in and sell it on and just do a kind of like a middleman job. Why not? I mean, we're doing the hard work. We're investing into something. We're using our own money to buy. So it's just a crazy delivery fee. <laughs> Delivery time, though, they can't complain at that. Really, from when we accepted the contract to this, this is uh, as, as best as you're going to hope for, anyway. So let's go back to all wheel, go to transport mode. And let's head off and finish this off. And yeah, we'll come back to the store because I want to have a look at the what's on offer. Definitely. We're sitting at 46,000 right now. We've obviously just spent a bit of cash to buy the bales. I think we're going to be well, we're going to be doing really well, aren't we? Bloody hell, we'll be close to 100,000, hopefully, by the end of this. It makes you think that the way that Maze Plus sells them grass silage bales, you could just, basically, you could start this game up, buy grass silage bales from the, sh the store and sell it at the biogas plant or wherever and constantly just make a profit. But I, I think that's yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit too far. But it you technically could do it. So I think this one just about passes, just about because it's like a middleman job, and we are actually transporting. And that's the whole point of the contract: it's the supply contract, transporting something. It'd be nice if one of them just falls into place. When you've just done a harvest, for example, of like canola, and they'd pay you more for it because. Obviously, they're going to need it. There's definitely a collision there that I need to sort out. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it's a hidden one. It might need removing. But yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? If you've just done a canola harvest, like I said, and they're going to offer you like double the amount or like at least 25% more than what you'd sell it for just selling the crop straight. I think uh, it's perfect then, these contracts are. All right, so let's get this done. Let's get it finished off. see the money roll in 
We should get some, not only half of the bales, really. I think, yeah, we got 1,229 for that bale. And think about it, I bought that bale 350 quid. <laughs> That's, that is ridiculous. I shouldn't laugh, really, but it is. There's something fundamentally not right with that. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's finish this off and get the money we deserve for at least transporting it. 51,000. I'll collect that. Thank you very much. Cheers, Tony. And uh, yeah, 99,000. I think we can't complain of that. Definitely not. So we're going to buy that field. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to get this bought. Now, we're 6% off for uh, Deanna Hartman. So 46,000 is half the money. But obviously, we're going to have a bigger grass field now. So that's brilliant news. So I'll get that fence removed. I'll also get the soil samples sorted out for the next episode as well. So we've pretty much now got an L-shaped field and we can redo the boundary and we can figure out the size of the field again. Because obviously, currently, I think it's... I think if I have to go to course play... No. Um... There is a way of doing that. Yeah, there you go. So 2.84 acres. So obviously that's going to be around five now at least. And then when we do this kind of other L-shaped field, it'd be a weird shaped field in total, but it's going to be a decent sized field. It really is. Like that's 11.28. And we're not too far off that, are we? But that's a massive grass field. Should make us a killing. We've already done well for bales, really. And it's a shame we've got that one bale left to sell. Uh, but let's jump up to the store and have a, a quick shop around and just see if we can buy anything. We're sitting at 52,000. We've done really well. We've bought that field. I kind of like played the system for what it is. All right, so nice trailer there, but I think we've already got a decent trailer. That tractor's not bad, but for 120 horsepower, I think that's overkill for the price. We can get one that's about that and it's just a really old version of a tractor. Uh, there's no need to do that. I mean, I've, I have said that I'd love that EDO uh, Fiat Agri. So if we get a chance for something like that, we should definitely grab that. Currently, look at that Volvo. 57 grand for that. That's, that's insane. 35% off. It's like a limited edition. Do you like that bale fork? I think that's pretty good for 3,000. I actually do like that. Just don't know what it fits on. Is that... Tell you, I'll have a look at that one. That's not a bad idea. This is also pretty decent as well for 28,000. That's even better though. A double axle low loader. Do you know what? That for 7,000 is a bargain. And that might come in handy because we've already got a bale trailer, but we could use this as a bale trailer as well, but also haul things so we can use it to obviously take vehicles anywhere we need to to go. If we've got equipment, we can take more than one. I do like that. Um, I probably prefer it with, yeah, with the reflectors on, and it's not too much of a cost. That's nice to have that wedge at the end, especially if you want to put bales on. See, that's that's pretty cool. I do like that a lot. And it means that we can obviously bail up. It means that we can add more bales. But for 5,000, that is pretty extreme. I mean, I'm not paying extra grand just to have that aluminium. That galvanized look for an extra grand. We don't need that. Now, that's only 3,000 though. So where's the... See, that's only 2,100. I'm not entirely sure. Why the, the other one five grand? But do you know what? For 2,100, I'll take that. I'll take it. We'll keep the hitch. That's probably going to go up. Yeah, we don't need that for 1,000. Hitch one will leave because really I'm not entirely sure where it should be. But if we need to adjust the hitch, we can because it won't cost anything. We'll just see where, where it ends up. Now this we can mess about with. I do like the black color. I'm not too keen on the yellow. I also like the grey. That is a difficult one. It looks nice and red. Blue and black. Hmm. That is pretty, pretty cool. Do 
you know what? I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. I'm going to take the number plate off just because you never know which vehicles will kind of like haul in with the trailer. And I think for 10,000, that's a bargain. That is a bargain. So let's grab that. Not bad at all. Not bad for a harvester. We've already got one, obviously, but not bad. And that's a decent price for a, a salad trailer as well. 15,000. That is 36,000 litres it holds as well. Do you know what? Let's, gr let's get it. For bloody 15,500, that is a bargain. And it's got a standard door and extension for £100. We'll get that. Hitch, not too fussed about the hitch. Keep it at that decal. I'm liking that. And again, why not? Let's do that. <laughs> no plate on it, just in case we do want to do that. So for £15,686, again, that is a bargain. Uh, a decent tedder. Definitely a decent tedder. For 30, it's 13 meters, so a lot better than what we currently got, but I don't think we need that, do we? Or if we want to grow soybeans, that'd be good because the seeds would be cheaper. I like weeder, but it's a little bit costly. And that's the only thing that I'd say is worth having a look now the bale fork. I think everything else is a little bit too costly. The front mower is nice, but we've already got one, so we don't need to worry about that. But that would have been a good when we did need one. I'm happy with that. I think that's not bad at all. So we're sitting with £26,000, but we've bought ourselves a new kind of load all, a new low loader trailer that also will hold bales. So it's kind of like a two in one. So really useful to have. And we've got ourselves a big trailer that can hold a lot of grain and obviously silage we can use as well. So I think it is just silage actually. Let's just have a look at that. Is it just a silage trailer? So no, you can see that it actually does hold some of the crop types as well. So that's really good to have because we, we're what running 29,400 litres on that one, but this one, 36,000. Now, the only th issue is the tractor we've got is going to be a bit of a task for it to pull that full. But it's nice to have the option, definitely. And if we have uh, you know, work our way up in the world and we're doing some harvesting, we can always have two, two trailers on the go. So I know this video hasn't been too long and there hasn't been much going on. We've done quite a bit. We've obviously... Made some good strides though. We've got some good kit there. Got the field as well for the next episode to kind of get past the winter months, hopefully, as well. I'll do a good jump cut next time around, so maybe springtime or when the contracts start coming back in. And yeah, we've now got the new L shape, so I'll make sure to set that up, um, remove them fences out so it is ready to start cracking on with when we can, which will be good because we'll, we'll be bringing in even more cash from Grass Salage then. And I'll get everything back to the farm parked away. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up because it does help my channel every time. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.